Lisa Brody, I'm the Associate Curator of Ancient Art at the Yale University Art Gallery. Um, these sculptures are among the Palmyrene funerary reliefs in our collection. These two came into the collection in the 1930s. They were gifts to the art gallery. Um, they are important as um, beautiful high quality examples of this kind of funerary relief that was uh, typical of Palmyra and important now um, that we preserve it in this museum setting and make it accessible online where people can see it and study it and appreciate it, especially with now what's happening um, in Syria and particularly Palmyra with the destruction and looting going on. And can you show us uh, the, the, the work and the color remnant and maybe that language on it? So the, the, this is a typical format for these reliefs. It would have a bust portrait with often an inscription, and here you can see the pigment, the red pigment preserved in the letters, which is Aramaic, and it identifies the figure. Her name is Abuna, and it says she was the daughter of Nabuna, who was the son of Anini, and it says, alas, because she's died. And you can see that she's presented um, with all her finery. She's got a very elaborate garment on, um, jewelry, necklace, rings, a pin, a headband, and all of this too would have been painted. The pigment doesn't survive as well um, on the rest of the relief, but it would have been brightly colored. Thank you so much.